Hey, foxy friends. Hello, world. I invited ID over to play one of my favorite games, All Your Base. Somebody set up us the board. Somebody set up us the board. It's electronic talking, All Your Base. From da da da. So real, it really talks. We get signal. We're talking instant programming and voice recognition technology. Main screen turn on. How are you, gentlemen? Against the computer or opponent, your mission, capture all base. So your ears are belong to us. Yeah! Now we're talking! Main screen turn on. Um, I don't have the electronic all your base. What is this, cardboard? Counterfeiters have really lowered their standards. I made this myself. Oh, really? It's nice. The rules of all your base are simple. ID and I have strategically placed our bases on a grid, and now we have to guess where each other's bases are. The first one to capture all of their opponent's bases wins. Keep talking. I need more time to develop my strategy. All right, while ID is setting up, I'll tell you about how I made this game board. This area here is called a grid. A grid is made up of rows and columns of cells. In HTML, we can make a grid with the table tag. Rows are made with the TR tag and cells with the TD tag. All your base is played on a five by five grid, but our HTML table would need to have six rows and six columns. That's because these headings are also part of the table. Headings are made with the TH tag. Usually headings appear on the top row of your table to describe the content in the columns, but sometimes they can be along the side to describe the content in the rows, like these. In this case, my table's headers help find the location of my table cells. For instance, I placed my camp on the table cell D1, which means it is found in the fourth cell of the first row. The rest of the game pieces are bigger than one table cell, so they'll need to span multiple rows or columns. My fortress horizontally spans cells B2 and C2. This is done with the call span attribute. Because this attribute makes one cell act like two cells, this row only has four TD tags. Likewise, we can make a cell span multiple rows with the row span attribute. My station spans cells E3 to E5, so the TD tag in E3 needs the attribute row span equals three. That means we need to take out one TD tag from both rows four and five to accommodate the call span. Okay, I'm ready. I'll let you start. D1. What? You broke my camp. Grr. E2. Miss. B2. Hit. A1. That's a miss. C2. You capped my fortress. E2. D2. D5. Miss. 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 You have no chance to survive. Pick your time. E3, E4, E5. All my base are belong to you? But how? How did you do it? It was easy. I could hear you talking about where you put your pieces. Want to play again? No, this is an addictive product. I think it's become a problem. Let's dump it in a landfill and seal it up with cement. My favorite game is played on a simple grid, which we learned is easy to make with an HTML table. Next, we'll learn how to make complex forms with HTML. Think you're ready for it? 